What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cam Dorian. Today I'm going to be doing a review and some writing on these two beautiful Pelican M400 pens. They are both 24 karat gold plated on the outside. The clip, all the trim, everything gold on the outside of the pen is 24 karat gold plated. This one is a limited edition from 2016. It's a brown and black tortoise shell trim. It's got the beautiful Pelican logo on the cap. This one is a white tortoise shell with the green body. Also has a nice Pelican logo. Both of these pens are already inked up. The brown one is filled with platinum pigment ink, Brune Sapia from Japan. It's a nice brown ink. We'll do some writing with that. The white and green tortoise shell is filled with platinum forest black. It's a nice green ink, kind of reminds me of money. So we'll do some writing with that as well. So Pelicans are from Germany. These retail ranging from $399 to $450, depending on where you find them online. Um, but you can buy them for much cheaper, uh, ranging from $260 to about $350. They both have very beautiful engraved 14 karat gold nibs. This one is an extra fine nib. Well, you can see the beautiful Pelican engraving. It's 14 karat gold. It's a very nice nib. These are very high quality pens. Very lightweight as well. Um, both of them weigh about 16 grams. In terms of length, uh, they're about 4.9 inches with the cap on. With the cap off, it's about 4.72 inches or you know, four and three fourths of an inch. So they're, they're pretty small pens. They're not too large. Um, they fit well in the hand. They're lightweight, easy to write with. You can also post them, give you a nice post action. They are pricey given all the gold that's inside of them. Um, but you know, Pelicans are high quality pens overall. The fit and finish is great. They are piston fillers. So you spin this cap here on both of them. There's a piston inside. Uh, they are not really demonstrators, but you can kind of see through um, these lines in the body to tell that there's ink inside of it. Um, but again, it's not perfectly see-through, but you can definitely tell you know, when it's empty or when it's, when it's full of ink. Another interesting thing is that these nibs are actually threaded on. So you can just kind of grab the nib and pull the whole thing out. Um, so it makes cleaning very easy. It makes swapping out the nibs very easy. Um, if you can find Pelican nibs somewhere, um, this one is a fine nib, so we have an extra fine and a fine here. We're going to be doing some writing, see the difference in how smooth they are, um, how fine the writing is. So before we do some writing, I wanted to show you guys a quick size comparison. This is the M800 Pelican. Uh, it's quite larger. It's also thicker. The barrel's diameter is larger. Um, the length is longer. It's also substantially heavier. You can just feel the difference when you have them in your hands. This is about half, the, the M400 is about half the weight, um, a, little more than ha a little more than half the weight of the Pelican M800. This one's about 30 grams, this one's about 16 grams. So you definitely feel the difference just by picking them up. We have some other pens here. We've got the Pilot Pereira, which is smaller than the Pelican M400s. As you can tell, as I said, there's, they're pretty small pens. They're not too large. Now this is my big boy Twisby Eco here. You can tell how much larger that one is. You, know, you compare the M M800. The M800 and the Twisby Eco are pretty much the same length. Um, and you can see how much shorter the Pelican M400s are in comparison. So let's do some writing. All right, let's do some writing. So this is a Rhodia 80 GSM lined pad. First, we're gonna write with the M400 white tortoise shell pen this is an this is a fine nib 
and it is filled with platinum forest black ink. So let's see how it goes. So with platinum, forest black. This is a pretty nice ink. It's green. It's got some shading going on. Um, and yeah, it's like a nice deep forest green. Kind of reminds me of money for some reason. Um, do some figure eights. Not bad. So this is a fine nib. Um, in terms of smoothness, uh, it's smooth. Um, it's not a butter king for sure. It is smooth though. I mean, it, it is definitely smooth than the M800 that we have an extra fine. Um, I felt that pen was pretty rough um, given it's an extra fine. Now this is a fine, so it is smoother. It's Although it's not the smoothest fine nib um, that I've written with, but it's, it's not bad. Let's post it, see how that goes. So yeah, posting it does make it a little smoother in my opinion. It's not as rough. I think that's just a characteristic of Pelican pens. You know, they have this character of just really, you know, giving you that feel of the paper. And, and it is smooth, it's just not my type of amazing smoothness. You know, I, I, lo I love the smoothness of Jin Hao's and Twisby's, just because it's, it's just like, Effortless effortlessly buttery smooth where you know, you just you, you don't really get any feedback um, And that's something I like but you know some people like the feedback and maybe it's something that uh, I'll, I'll start liking um, just in time from using the pen Yeah, so overall this is this is a pretty nice pen um, I, I, I don't think it's worth the price tag of you know 250 300 350 dollars you know, you're getting a lot of gold in it so so that does kind of put the price up and you know the 14 karat gold nib does have a specific characteristic um, but you know I wouldn't um, but I, I, I don't think I would purchase uh, this pen given how pricey it is um, and how smooth it isn't to my liking all right so now let's write with the black and brown tortoise shell this is a limited edition from 2016 this one is filled with platinum pigment ink brune sepia this one is an extra fine nib so let's see how this one does in comparison I'm expecting it to be a little rougher but we'll see what happens hmm interesting interesting So this one, it, it you know, it, it feels pretty much the same as the the fine nib. You know, it's it's not too bad. It is a little. There is some feedback, some roughness, um, but it, it is pretty smooth. In general, I definitely like the way this ink flows. It, it's it's a nice. I don't know. Maybe the ink. Um, the ink itself is making it feel a little smoother. I'm not sure, but uh, it's it's not bad. I think I like this one better than the white tortoise white tortoise shell.
Um, so what's this filled with? This is filled with platinum. Platinum pigment. Yeah, I don't know if this is really the name of it. It says platinum pigment ink. Brune sepia. But this is not a bad ink. Um, I kind of like this ink. This color is growing on me. It's like a brownish. Yeah, it's pretty much a brown, I guess. <laughs> um, simple brown. You know, it's a brown pen, so why not put some brown ink in it, right? But yeah, it writes it writes pretty well on this uh, Rodia 80 GSM. So there you have it folks, two Pelicans, M400s. Overall, decent pens. Um, again, they're too pricey in my opinion for what you're getting. I mean, you're getting a lot of gold. Uh, you're getting high quality in terms of fit and finish. You're getting easy piston filler, easy cleaning. Um, and you know, they just, they do look like very nice fancy pens. Um, but in terms of the writing, the nibs are not as smooth as I, as, as I would like them to be. Um, they are there is some feedback. They're a little rough in my opinion um, I like very buttery smooth nibs um, Which I've experienced with my Twisby's and my Jin Hao's um, You know, even my Lamy logo is pretty smooth and buttery um, But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give it a nice thumbs up Also, please subscribe help my channel grow and I'll see you all in the next video